Hello everyone! Welcome once again to Brandeo Collection. Today we're going to do something a little different and take a look at our top 10 most requested signings. So stick around and we'll go through them one by one and see which ones make the list. All right, so jumping right into things, I thought it would be fun to go through and do a top 10 most requested signings. Now, what I mean by most requested is most requested by myself. So this is my personal list of the signings that I want to see the most. These are actors or maybe even behind the scenes people um, that I would love to add to my collection. Or maybe I have certain pieces already in my collection of these people, but I want to get specific shots done or get specific items signed. So they're in my top 10. Now, it will vary depending on how hard or easy it may be uh, to get these people and the likelihood of them actually doing a signing, whether that be a private signing or showing up at a convention, whether that be a big convention or a smaller one. Um, but we'll go through and just kind of see and, and put it out there. Crazier things have happened. We had a signing with Natalie Portman. We had a signing with Robert Downey Jr. Those were two people that it was thought would never actually do a private signing and they did. So now you have the opportunity to grab shots that possibly before were not available. So anything is possible. So before we jump into that top 10, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell notification to be notified when we post new content. So stick around and we'll take a look at that top 10 list right after the jump. So starting with that top 10. So we're going to start with number 10 and then work our way up. Number 10 is going to be Paul Rudd. So the likelihood of him signing again is pretty high, I, I would think. He's done a convention before. Um, he has done some different signings. There are items, of course, that are out there and available for uh, that have Paul Rudd on them since he did do a couple signings uh, years ago and uh, not too long ago, I should say. But I just need him to sign again because I have a Captain America Civil War piece, which he is the last person I need in order to fully complete it for Team Cap. So that piece needs to get completed. <laughs> so I need Paul Rudd to sign again so that I can send it in and get it uh, completed. So hopefully he does that fairly soon. Now, the next one is somebody who, if you're part of any type of Star Wars autograph group um, online, whether that be on Facebook or any other type of social media, the number one name that you see come up time and time again is Mark Hamill. Now, Mark Hamill has not signed since 2017. So 2017 at New York Comic Con was the last time that Mark Hamill did a signing. Now he, of course, prior to that, was a very, very prolific signer. He was at a lot of conventions for many, many years. Um, him and Carrie Fisher would basically show up all over places around the world, um, different conventions, celebration, um, all those things to sign. So there are tons and tons of items out there that are signed by Mark Hamill. So the ability to find a piece is not hard. It, you can find a Mark Hamill signed piece anywhere. But once again, reason why a lot of people ask is because there's a lot of people who got into the autograph collecting community after he last signed. And also, there's a lot of pieces that still need him. So, for example, I have this Batman the Animated Series piece that has Kevin Conroy, who, rest in peace to him, um, that needs Mark Hamill on there as the Joker. So that's an example of a piece that I didn't get started until after the last time he signed. So that's something that I need. And of course, I would like to have some more Luke Skywalker shots of my own choosing uh, if he ever does decide to sign again, whether that be at a convention or he does a, a private signing. So we'll see. And we'll see if, if that's a, something that, that comes up in the future. Now, the next one is somebody who is kind of a hit or miss on if this will ever happen. Um, but another name that kind of goes out there is Liam Neeson. So Liam Neeson, of course, across the board has tons of different characters that he's played that you can get 
items signed for. Of course, Qui-Gon Jinn from Star Wars. Um, you have um, Schindler's List. If you want to go for a little more serious of uh, different items, you have the Taken films. Uh, you have a lot of different items. You have, of course, Batman Begins. Uh, you have pieces that can add him to that on the DC side of things. So there's a lot of different options that you can get with Liam Neeson if he does decide to sign in the future. That's one of those ones that, who knows, I don't know if it will happen as he gets older, uh, but hopefully that is something that's in the cards. Moving on to number seven is one that some people are starting to think will never happen, but... Who knows? It's another one that's kind of up there. Um, but another person I need to not just start pieces, but also a person I need to finish some things. And that is Clancy Brown. So Clancy Brown, another person that has been in pretty much anything that you can think of, he's been an actor in it. So he's one of those actors, either he's been in it on his face, or he's been a voice actor behind the scenes for those characters. Now, of course, most people my age and probably a little bit younger would know him as Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. Um, but he is Savage Press from the Clone Wars, which that is actually the piece that I need. I have a comic book that's signed by Sam Witwer and I need him, Clancy Brown on there, uh, in order to complete the shot of both Maul and Savage Press. Um, he is of course, Lex Luthor from the Justice League animated series. He was also in Shawshank Redemption. He's one of the main guards. Um, you'll notice him if you see his face, of course. Um, and many, many, many other things. Uh, they can go down a list from there that you can get pieces signed by him. So he's somebody that I know a lot of people personally who would love to add him to their collection and get pieces of their own choosing uh, to him to be added to. So hopefully that's one of those things. I did say something to Sam Witwer, um, not that that kind of changes things from there, but I was jokingly said to Sam Witwer at Celebration last year, Clancy Brown needs to do a signing. And he said, yeah, he totally does. And I jokingly said, well, if you see him again, let him know, <laughs> which... Who knows if that means anything, but hopefully we'll see. Uh, number six. So number six is a behind the scenes person. And that would be for me, Peter Jackson, uh, Peter Jackson, who directed the Lord of the Rings films, the Hobbit films. Um, of course, also, I would probably get him on something from his early days. I'd probably get a Dead Alive piece, um, his zombie film, uh, just to kind of change things up. Of course, definitely the reason why I want to get him is for the original Lord of the Rings films, um, some of my all-time favorite movies, which I, I think all three of those films are perfect. Uh, so... I would definitely want to get him. And another person who was a very, very big inspiration to me uh, to go into film and to love film um, and also learn how films were made with all those appendices that were released with the extended editions of the Lord of the Rings DVD sets. So those movie, those uh, documentaries were a big part of me learning about how movies were made, the ins and outs of it, the difficulties of making a film, and of course, just how fun it is too at the end of the day, even with all the difficulties that come with it. Now, moving back into the Star Wars world, and sticking with a couple more behind the scenes people, and people kind of dip a little bit into the acting side. The first person is actually Dave Filoni. So Dave Filoni is my number five. So now we're in the top five here. Dave Filoni, of course, he is a big, big inspiration to the current universe of projects of Star Wars. Of course, The Mandalorian. He's the one that created the Clone Wars with George Lucas. Um, he is has a big part back in the day with Avatar The Last Airbender as well. He was behind the scenes of that show too. Another one of my personal favorite all-time animated shows. Um, so he has his fingers kind of like in all these different pieces. I do have a couple pieces in my collection of his. My prized possession, which I look at every day, um, is my signed Ahsoka sketch that's sketched by Dave Filoni. Um, that is my prized possession. Um, and then, of course, I have another shot of just him from Star Wars Celebration. Put a little sketch on there of Ahsoka as also. 
Um, but I would love to add him to my Mandalorian poster that has the entire season one cast on there. Um, I also have a poster that's out right now that's still waiting uh, for Pedro Pascal um, for season two that I would love to add him to as well. And if he's doing sketches, I would love some Mando sketches uh, that as well. I'll take all the Dave Filoni sketches that you can give me. Uh, we'll see how much that costs if that does ever come an option. But if it does, I'm definitely jumping on at least one of those. Now to go hand in hand with Dave Filoni, my number four is Jon Favreau. So Jon Favreau, of course, with Dave Filoni created The Mandalorian, is integral in the creation of the current kind of Mandoverse, Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, of course, the Ahsoka show coming uh, soon with Dave Filoni. Um, and of course, he is the one who started the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Robert Downey Jr. in the first Iron Man film. So he not only directed those first two movies, he also starred in most of the MCU films as Happy Hogan. So he kind of goes across the board for not just behind the scenes and importance to Marvel and Star Wars, my two top two favorite uh, franchises. Um, but he's also very integral in front of the camera as well for both of those series uh, playing characters in both Star Wars and Marvel that are big uh, in those different universes. Now, you can't talk about Star Wars and you can't get into the top three most requested signings that I want unless you talk about this person. But before I jump into that person, if you've made it this far in this video and you have not subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? If you enjoyed it this far, we got more coming down the line and we already have a lot of videos on our channel that are just like this that I'm sure you'll love. So hit that subscribe button before you move forward. Okay, thank you. I, I appreciate it. So jumping right into things, let's get into those top three. So number three, most requested signing by myself, is George Lucas. Of course, we're going pulling out the big guns for number three, and you're going to say, wait a minute, you have them at three? You have them that low? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the other two are, one's a little re realistic, one is not so realistic. They give you a little spoiler there. But George Lucas is number three in my top 10. I would love to add him to a lot of things, of course. You could just put him on anything Star Wars, basically. I mean, of course, I would put him just on the stuff that he personally worked on. I'd put him on, of course, original trilogy stuff, on prequel stuff, um, and anything from there. Now, I can't imagine right now, there's so many different things I'd get him on, uh, but... I would find some behind the scenes shots. I do have one right now that has both George Lucas and Alec Guinness on it. That's a big one. Uh, but I want to get something that's a little clearer, um, something that a little more direct. He has a very super simple signature, but it's George Lucas. Of course, you're going to have to add him to your collection if you're a Star Wars autograph collector. So, of course, that's going to be someone that's in my top three most requested signings. So now we're in the top two. Like I said, and I kind of spoiled a little bit, is that one is realistic, one is not so realistic. But this is just for fun. So let's see. So we're actually going to go with number two is going to be the one that's realistic. And number two is Tom Holland. Tom Holland from Spider-Man, that Tom Holland. Um, once again, somebody who has done conventions, has done signings in the past, prior to COVID, he did do a couple conventions. He was actually at a convention that I was at, uh, Keystone Comic Con in Philadelphia a few years ago. He was only there, of course, on the day that I couldn't be there. So I didn't get any pieces there. Uh, but he is a person I need on the other side of my Captain America Civil War piece, my Team Iron Man shot, um, and that is Tom Holland is needed on that, which gives us a spoiler for number one. Number one is Scarlett Johansson. So just going to transition right into number one because that piece, that Civil War piece, the last two people on there are Tom Holland and Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. So those are my two and one of selection for the most requested signings. Now, we had a video that we just recently posted talking about um, Grail pieces, and I talked about Scarlett Johansson in that video as well. If you haven't watched that video, I'll actually provide a link right here and in the description below. 
But in that video, we talked about the pieces I currently have and the fact that I'm a big fan of hers. So I would love to get some really nice and clear Black Widow shots, um, some other shots from other films that she's been in, um, and maybe a couple other things as well. But of course, I definitely want to at least finish this Team Iron Man shot so that I have both Team Iron Man and Team Captain America 11 by 14 shots, put them side by side. There you go. We'll look awesome and kind of be a great centerpiece for a Marvel autograph collection. So those are all my top 10 most requested signings. Um, let me know in the comments below, what are yours? So give me, if anything, give me at least a top five. Five to 10, what signings are you most requesting? So which ones would you be interested in being a part of, whether that be a private signing or going to a convention to meet that particular celebrity or behind the scenes uh, player? So let me know in the comments below. And once again, if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell notification to be notified when we post new videos. It helps us grow the channel. It helps us get this channel out in front of more people so that we can continue to grow, continue to bring great content to you. And of course, if there's any other things that you're interested in, always let us know and we're happy to provide some additional comments, some additional information and some education to the collecting community. Thank you so much for watching today and as always, keep on collecting.